Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Scott. Today I'm going to do a little update on the Oxfit. I'm going to give you my thoughts, feelings, and some tips. So hope you're listening, Oxfit. So without further ado, let's get into this. Hello. Sorry guys, I was away for a little while. Obviously, you know there was a hurricane down in Florida, Hurricane Ian. I do have a property down in Venice, Florida, so I had to fly down there as I had some damage to my property. Um, obviously, not as bad as Englewood and Fort Myers. Um, but I have a property in Venice. It's a South Venice, like Northport. It's about three-year-old property, brand new construction. Um, all the hurricane updates, but still sustained some damage. I'll show you some pictures. Um, shingles came off the roof. The ceiling in the master bedroom collapsed, I guess, from like uh, moisture and water. Uh, some of the carpet got wet, so that had to get up. Um, insulation all over the place, as you see. And then some of the uh, lanai ceiling had some damage. So could have been worse, but definitely all taken care of. But anyway, now that I'm back at it, I did want to update you, let you know that the shackle is fixed on my deck. Um, I believe his name was Cullum, came out from Oxfit. It took maybe about 10 minutes. Um, looks like they had smaller washers than was necessary. They needed to fix the um, shackle by putting larger washers and then centering it a little bit better. So the deck's working fine. No more noise. No more um, jamming me up when I'm using the uh, cables there. So shout out to Oxfit. Thank you for that. Now, without further ado, let me get into some of my updates on Oxfit. So what I learned was that the upgraded bench, which is, I guess, if you get um, not the base model um, Oxfit, but if you get the second level up, you get the upgraded bench. And the upgraded bench um, is capable of locking in. There's these screws on the deck um, that I actually have that supposedly they remove for you. Uh, when you get the upgraded bench and then you can screw the bench in so that when I was talking about the seated rows, like when you're pulling and then the, the bench sliding into like the screen, it would prevent all that. I'm kind of a little bit peeved about that. And the reason I'm peeved about that is because like I get like that bench, you have like the capability of doing like rowing and the, and the seat slides and everything like that. But if I'm buying the, the system and I want to do strength training, seated rows is a part of strength strength training, right? Like seated seated rows for like lats and rhomboids are part of strength training. So you basically gave me a trash bench. And it's all smut and it's garbage and it's trash. Um, that I can't really do certain exercises with. And even if it is just seated rows, maybe what you should have done was allowed me to upgrade for a couple hundred bucks to get that bench because maybe I didn't need all the cardio and all the other stuff that I could do um, with that upgraded bench. Um, so maybe you should have just wiped out the cardio on the system or something and gave me an option for the bench. I guess my point is, what I'm saying is, maybe more of an a la carte feature to buying your Oxfit would be more suitable for the masses. Um, so someone like me, I don't do a lot of cardio on the Oxfit. I use it for strength training. I do cardio on my Peloton. I have a, a trail around my town. I run the trail, I walk the trail. I just didn't need the Oxfit for cardio. I want the Oxfit for strength training. And, you know, with the bench that's provided, it's a generic trash bench um, that doesn't do incline, doesn't do decline, and doesn't lock in. So Cedar Rose is kind of a pain in, the, pain in the ass. Let's just call it what it is. So I kind of feel like I'm ripped off at that point. Um, maybe you should uh, provide a way that the person who's getting the base model because they don't want the cardio can upgrade to that bench. Um, either way, um, I think that's trash. And maybe you should think about changing that model. The system's great, but... I mean, I feel ripped off. I feel like I should have gotten that bench, um, but I wasn't going to pay um, a, an exorbitant amount of money just for the bench. I'll just buy one aftermarket. The problem with the aftermarket bench is that you're going to run into the same issue, right? Like it doesn't lock in to the deck, um, so I'd have to modify it or somehow get their bench, which I don't even know if I'm able to buy the bench um, after, I, after the purchase I made with the base model. So, you know, maybe you guys can let me know in the comments. But yeah, that's that's... Uh, number one. So again, going on number two, I just think, again, let's go back to, you know, the whole system. When you buy the system, right, there's three three levels. There's a, a, a base model, a middle tier, and then the top tier, uh, and you get different capabilities with it. Here's my recommendation to Oxfit and most people, uh, or to most companies out there. Maybe sell it a la carte, right? Like everything's going a la carte. Like even cable TV, you know, you have Roku's and you have Apple TV and you can buy the channels you want and kind of get rid of them as you need it. Maybe like your modes, the cardio session, the strength training videos, the personal training, maybe sell everything kind of a la carte. So if I 
you know, the machine's one price and then you get a choice of a bench, right? Like, do I want this bench, the base model bench, the trash bench, in my opinion, or do I want the better bench that locks in and has more capability? And then that's a set price. And then you can kind of go from there. Like, do you want to be able to do ski cross? Do you want to be able to do rowing? Do you want to be able to do swimming? Do you want to be able to do paddle boarding? Like add in what you want if you want it, you know, and everything adds up to another price. Um, do you want personal training? You know, maybe add that in, maybe add that to a la carte. Do you want chain mode and spotter mode and, you know, burnout mode? Like all these things can be like an a la carte kind of situation for the person ordering the Oxfit. I think what you're doing is you're giving people levels, which is okay, but you pigeonhole people into certain things that they might not need everything there. So why don't you make it where there's a customer experience that they can kind of pick and choose what they want and kind of almost customize their Oxfit to them, right? Like to, to what their needs are. Um, that would be my recommendation for that. Um, and that's basically falls in line with the whole um, previous talk about the bench. The only other thing I can say as far as having an update with the Oxfit is the app. The app really needs to be revamped. There's, you gotta, you gotta, in, in, you gotta do something to improve that software. Um, I go on the app after I do a workout and that might be, you know, benching, you know, 100 and, 150 pounds and then go up to like 215 pounds after my third set. The app gives me an average weight that I lifted, which I don't understand how that correlates with what I'm actually lifting. You know, so for me, like now I got to still keep a notebook to track, right? This is what I set it. I set it at 150. I did, you know, a set of 12. I set it to 180, did a set of 12, and then 215, did a set of 10. Then I can go back. That way I can know if I can increase or if I should go down. I mean, when you're, when you're trying to work out, you kind of want a, a, a path. Um, the app, which I thought was going to do that, kind of throws me off because it gives you an average weight lifting. I don't know if that's because it's a, a digital calculation in the machine based on you know, force and velocity and the actual weight. But if I put the actual weight at 175 and then I go back three days later and I'm trying to think about, you know, what weight did I do? And it's giving me an average weight of like 150. I'm like, nah, there's no way I did 150. So maybe that, you just got to fix that. Like just put the weight people are lifted, not the average weight lifted. I don't know if it's a calculation, but in my opinion, just put the weight that I lifted because it's easier for me to go back in the app and look at that as opposed to have to write it down. But now I have to write it down because the app doesn't function that way. So maybe that's a suggestion for the app. Just, just fix it and make it, you know, calculate, you know, add the actual weight that I put on the machine. The other thing I would consider is, um, basically have it to where like, I don't know, I want, I don't want to compare you to tonal, but a lot of tonal people will, they're, when they're working out, they do a set and it, it's tracking them, right? So if I'm logged in, it's tracking me. So if I do a set and a certain exercise and say like last time I got like 10 reps, but this time I got 12 reps, there should be a recommendation from the computer or from the AI or something in there, maybe add AI to it. I don't even know if it has AI to make a recommendation like, hey, maybe you should go up like five pounds. Whether I choose to do it or not is up to me, but you know, for me, someone who's lifted for a while, I know when I should go up, but the average person or per people buying this may not know. And that's the functionality they want, right? They want that recommendation to say, hey, um, should I go up five pounds? Should I go down? Like, am I, is it too heavy for me? Is it too light for me? Um, a lot of people, believe it or not, have a hard time figuring that out. And that recommendation, I think, would be fantastic. So, but other than that, I mean, the shackles fixed. Um, uh, so I'm happy with that. The, you know, bench situation kind of pissed me off a little bit. I'm, I'm kind of, you know, and I speak highly of Oxfit, but that, that just kind of perturbed me there. Kind of really angered me when I found that out. Um, cause I didn't know that prior and not that I would have bought the level up. I would have just asked if I could have got the bench, you know, shipped out to me and paid an extra couple hundred bucks. Um, and, uh, the whole a la carte thing, I think is just a better move, you know, knowing that, um, and then, yeah, the app, the app needs to be fixed. The app doesn't calculate calories, right? It doesn't, to me, it doesn't calculate the weight you're lifting, right? Um, I know that you have a long way to go. You're brand new, but put some effort into that, you know, and, and let's figure this out. But um, sorry, guys, again, it's been a while. I've been away. This is going to be a quick video. Um, again, had to get on to Florida, deal with a bunch of things, but just want to let you know that I did um, get things fixed. I did talk to some people at Oxford. I've talked to some people in the comments found out a couple things and these are my new recommendations to Oxfit. So hope you're watching. If you like this video, you got something out of it, um, subscribe, hit that like notification button below and leave some comments and uh, I'll see you next time.